Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV back at you. Know that video, like the content is real. Go ahead, smash that like button, like the content is channel. Go ahead, hit subscribe, man. Look. Um, so first off, I want to say, man, thoughts and prayers to uh, you know uh, Demar Hamlin and things like that. You know what happened on Monday night was very, very scary to see. You know, see somebody um, collapse like that. You know, so thoughts and prayers with him, his family. My last reports I heard that he was recovering well. Uh, things were pointing in the right direction, you know, things like that. So hopefully we continue to get those kind of reports and that, you know, he just, you know, he's back to full health before you know it. You know, I mean, nothing, nothing about football fields, nothing like that, but just full health in life. You know what I mean? That, that's what I'm looking for for DeMar Hamlin. Um, I was going to do a video yesterday, but everything that happened with that just didn't feel right talking about something Ravens related. Uh, that really just didn't seem that important, honestly. So lastly, like I said, thoughts and prayers for DeMar Hamlin, you know. Hopefully his status keeps improving, man. All right, so uh, what I'll talk about today is obviously it's Wednesday, so we'll do that Ravens injury report, stuff like that. Also, we'll talk about some Ravens uh, playoff scenarios and things like that nature. Um, now that we've probably got an idea of what's going to happen with this Bills and Bengals game, um, we kind of know how that's going to affect the Ravens, all right? But let's first off, let's start with the injury report, okay? Now, Lamar Jackson did not practice today once again. He's been out now for officially a month, you know what I mean? So it is what it is on that front. Uh, so guys that are down for rest, Calais Campbell, J.K. Dobbins, uh, Ronnie Stanley, Kevin Zeitler, uh, Justin Houston, okay? Now also, Calais Campbell, John Harbaugh said, we'll be back at practice tomorrow. So the big man is back. All right, now, limited, Tyler Huntley, Marcus Peters, Kavon Seymour. Tyler Huntley is still nursing that shoulder injury. Uh, Marcus Peters has made his return to practice for that calf, okay, and Kavon Seymour is limited, all right? Now, interesting knowing Tyler Huntley. The reporters that were there, they said they did not see him throwing the football during the uh, session that was open to the media. So that tendonitis injury, whatever was going on, seems to still be affecting him. Um, now, I don't think that means we're going to see Anthony Brown, even though I'd love to see Anthony Brown. That don't mean we're going to see him. So now, also who returned to practice, Daryl Worley, important special teams player. Okay. Now, that's the injury report. I'm not going to get into Lamar Jackson not practicing. I already talked about it. You know, it is what it is. He's He's hurt. It is what it is. If he's doing it because he's holding out, I had no problem with that either. You know what I mean? Either way it goes, you got to do what's best for you. You know, I don't want him out there rushing himself to come back from injury. That's the last thing I'm going to say about that. Now, as far as the Ravens versus Bengals uh, this Sunday, whether whoever's that quarterback, okay, it's going to be at 1 p.m., right? Now, what does this mean to me? It just means to me that the fact that the Ravens, um, that the Bengals in the Bills game is probably going to be called a draw or no contest, a tie, however you want to call it. The Bengals are not probably going to get a loss for that game which means the Ravens cannot win the AFC North, right? The Ravens need the Bengals to lose to the Bills so that with that so that this week 18 game will pretty much be for the division. That's not going to happen, okay? The Ravens are going to play at 1 o'clock, which means that the Bengals have likely won the AFC North for this season, all right? So congrats to them on everything on that front. Now, for the Ravens, what does this mean? The Ravens still have a chance to get as high as the fifth seed, okay? Now, for this to happen, um, they have to beat the Bengals one, and two, the char <clears throat> so I don't know what that was. <laughs> two, the Chargers have to lose to the Broncos. Okay, now the Chargers losing to the Broncos is not a very likely scenario, given the fact that the Chargers know that they're still playing for seeding, and the Broncos aren't very good, dude. To put it lightly, okay. Um, so with that being said, it looks like the Ravens and the Bengals are going to match up in back-to-back -back weeks. All right, this is my assumption. You know, nothing has come out yet as far as what's happening. But like I said, Bills, Bengals, I think it will be called a tie. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, who cares about the game after what happened with DeMar Hamlin? Nobody cares about the football game anymore, all right? So that kind of is probably going to be called a tie. The NFL already said they're moving along with Week 18 the schedule. I doubt that they'll make a Week 19 for just for one game to be played. I doubt that that happens, all right? Um, because that only disadvantages the Bills and the Bengals because they have to – other teams get an extra week to rest. The Bills and the Bengals won't get that, right? So – this is my opinion. So it looks like the Ravens, as far as the playoffs go, will play the Bengals um, in the wild card in the 3-6 matchup, all right? So that means Ravens-Bengals will take place likely in back-to-back -back weeks. Um, so an interesting scenario, something that's kind of crazy, but um, the season's been crazy, right? So that what it looks like it's going to be. Hopefully, you know, it's a good game. I don't know. But um, maybe we get Lamar Jackson back for that game. Maybe not. We'll see on, on that front. Uh, but for this Sunday's game, um, this end of season game, I'm not quite sure how to feel about whether they should play their guys or not. I mean, I think they should play their starters because 
the Ravens aren't really in a position to be resting players. The guys need the reps and guys need to be out there. They need to play. You know, they're not like, uh, oh, they're hot, anything like that. No, they need to be out there. They need to be out there and play. So if the Ravens can get out there and potentially beat the Bengals somehow and the Chargers lose to the Broncos, that's great because then you get to play either the winner of the Jags and the Titans, which is a far better matchup than playing the Bengals right out the, right out the gate in the wild card, right? I would rather play Jacksonville. I would rather play Tennessee, right? That's just it what it is, even if, even though that's on the road. No problem with that. That's who I would rather play, all right? Um, so just some interesting scenarios, man. Give me you guys' uh, thoughts and ideas, man. Should the Ravens go full bottle this Sunday, play their guys? Should they rest them and just say, hey, look, let's just get ready for the playoffs um, on, on all fronts, you know what I mean? To me, in my opinion, uh, everybody except for Lamar Jackson because he's not healthy, um, play your guys. You know what I mean? The guys need rep. The guys, the starters need to play. There's no point of giving them rest. They haven't really done anything to earn that said rest. Let them guys play, right? So that's just my personal opinion, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. We'll talk about it there. But this is your injury report for today. A lot of guys that's on rest. You know, Tyler Huntley didn't throw today, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, and Deshaun Jackson with an illness. So really not too many uh, really injuries for the Ravens. You know, just some rest. And, you know, one big star player, obviously, that's out, and that's Lamar Jackson, all right? But that's your Ravens injury report for today, man. Give me your thoughts. Rest or go full throttle week 18. It's your boy Gabriel. This comes to Fan TV. I'm out.